Hey folks, uh, Troy Bix, Janus International with R3, Restore, Rebuild and Replace. We're excited today to be here with uh, Dave King with Wentworth Properties, and he's gonna discuss a couple of uh, R3 opportunities and experiences that they're going through. Uh, we wanna first thank Dave for his time and business and partnership. And Dave, let's talk a little bit about you, how you got in the business, sure. and how it evolved into Wentworth today. Yeah, my pleasure, and uh, thanks for having me. Um, I started in the business in about 2005 with uh, Open Tech Alliance on the vendor side. Um, grew into a role with uh, U.S. Storage Centers, Westport Properties, uh, and acquisitions of third-party management, which uh, grew over about five years more into an opportunity with Wentworth Property Company to come over and start a storage division to go along with uh, what they do in the industrial world and in the office world. So we looked at it sort of at the time as a third leg to our stool, uh, the ability to kind of um, be in three different worlds. Um, Absolutely. Great company, Wentworth, um, very much attracted to the uh, sustainability of self-storage and uh, the recession resistance of self-storage. And uh, I had sort of uh, dumped my way into the storage business originally and it turned out to be one of the best moves that I ever made. Um, it just opened up a lot of doors for me. Um, working with a lot of great people. Um, I can't imagine being in a different industry than self-storage. Uh, I hope I never have to be. Um, so, Me too. <laughs> yeah. Glad to be here though with uh, Janice, who's been a great resource to us always. Uh, great people, great product. Um, certainly we find a lot of value in, in um, using your guys' product on new new construction and, uh, and also on, on the rehab stuff. Um, we have kind of a three-pronged strategy as a company, which is um, ground up development, conversions, uh, value add acquisitions, sometimes with or without expansion. Um, so on this topic, you know, we buy probably a close to 50%, 40-50% of what we've purchased have been what we call uh, management turnaround or value add acquisitions. Um, that can mean a lot of things. Uh, we try to buy them really well on the front end, price wise, mm -hmm. per foot, uh, and we always kind of allocate small to significant dollars for um, rehabilitation of that product to mm -hmm. clean it up and get a more competitive offering. Uh, we have a lot of competition coming to the self-storage world and in order to compete you have to spend the money on it to keep these facilities um, operating and looking good and a lot of our tenants care a lot more today than they used to mm -hmm. about what it looks like when they walk inside and secure and clean and um, new and or rehabbed is, is really important to us. Perfect, perfect. Uh, right now we're working on a couple of R3 projects, one in Stockton and one in North Phoenix. Can you go over some particulars sure. uh, as far as what your experience has been and what you expect the end result to be? Sure, well if we start with North Phoenix, um, that's a property we bought about two years ago. Um, we had budgeted uh, when we closed it through the loan um, of a few hundred thousand dollars worth of capital expenses. Mm -hmm. um, had to do with, you know, in addition to the units themselves and the doors themselves and the lighting, you know, we had some asphalt work, we had some roof work. but. That stuff was pretty light in terms of the expenses. Primarily, the issue with that property is from the exterior, it looks pretty decent and pretty nice, probably B quality. Mm -hmm. um, mostly drive up, uh, sort of uh, two-story drive up is the product type of that one. And we basically, the, the problem was the interior units that we had, the walk-in non-climate controlled mm -hmm. units in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, is, has really become sort of an inferior product offering. Uh, galvanized metal walls, wooden swing doors, um, our drive-up product does really well there, uh, so obviously door replacement on that stuff has, been, has gone a long way because we can keep it pretty full. Uh, we had a small conversion uh, prior to our purchasing the facility mm -hmm. of, of air conditioned space, true air conditioning, and that stuff does really well. So our angle on that uh, was to buy it and then go back and clean up that non um, non-conditioned um, interior space. Mm -hmm. um, we call it walk-in space because mm -hmm. um, it's it's not truly a drive-up and it's not air-conditioned. So you're basically just pulling up to an open hallway, walking into that hallway. And um, what, we'd, what we've experienced is that that product, in order to compete with the other operators in the, in the market, needs to be upgraded. So we went back in with uh, reconfiguration of those units, 
to kind of accommodate the, the demand of that market. Which so is, a remix? Yeah, a remix, okay. um, which tends to be a bigger product in that mm -hmm. market. You know, we're not doing as many 5 by 5s and 5 by 10s as we are 10 by 10s and 10 by 15s. Okay. So we combine some of those by removing some panels, uh, and then we put up um, some white paneling systems from Janus on the front. Uh, widen the doors from four foot swing doors to you know eight foot roll up doors. Nice. Um, turned out really well. Um, we actually kind of ran out of our budget on that about halfway through, so it's turned into an expansion project. We're actually buying a piece of land, or we bought a piece of land behind it. We're going to do a some a new building there and go back through that loan and budget for the remainder of the capex on on the walk in space over at the other facility. Um, we found that. There's no doubt that when people walk in, there's they're willing to pay a little bit more for nicer products. Absolutely. Um, so we've been able to you know push our rents on the drive up, now push our rents on the uh, interior rehab product, um, and we're still having trouble renting the older stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that one's been really good, um, and we're probably a few months away from being done with that that project. Uh, not the expansion, but at least the the rehab of the existing property. Do you have a rough number on those increased rents for the indoor R3 units? It seems that, you know, there is probably a cap on, you know, a price sensitive customer that walks in the door um, that just wants a five by five and doesn't care what it costs. Mm -hmm. They just want the cheapest unit available. That person's probably still a fit for that older product. Mm -hmm. But that's a very small amount of the people that walk through that door. I would say we're able to probably charge up to 25% more for the what what was the same size unit that you know we were getting before sure. compared to what we were getting before. Sure, could be more um, be depending more. on the occupancy of that unit size. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, we try to push and manage our facilities unit size by unit size, not just you know type by type. Yep. So you know, if all our 10 by 10s are full, you know, we're we're going to be raising rents on those quicker. Perfect, perfect. Let's go to Stockton yeah. and what you're doing there and what the end result yeah. is Yeah, Stockton, be. again, similar market, believe it or not, to kind of North Phoenix. Um, not a real high-end, infill, dense market, decent. I mean, I shouldn't say that. Stockton is a good market. Um, there's a lot of people, but uh, you're not going to bump into a ton of Class A, multi-level, climate-controlled space. So what we bought up there was a, uh, a single-story product. Um, mm -hmm very well occupied but very low in rents um, both both street and economic or effective rents so we basically bought that um, and through again closing that property we budgeted probably the most significant amount of money um, for that project on on full capex for that it came uh, I think we did the math earlier but it came to about six bucks a foot is what we yep. put into that thing uh, and it's it's been a huge deal we've we've managed to keep it full during construction uh, with the promise of, and, and raise rents, with the promise of, hey, we're using your rental increase to go back and put money into the facility so your experience is better. Absolutely. Um, and you know, it just, it, it's another market that has done really well for us. Um, again, it has a lot to do with the management and uh, your delivery of quality offering um, for a reasonable price. Right. Yeah, right. so that one's gone really well too. Perfect, perfect. We are going to be introducing R3 certified uh, at the upcoming ISS show. An R3 certified facility, the first requirement is to have a complete door replacement. So if we're gonna offer a better functionality, uh, more security, and more safety to a self-storage facility, we wanna call that out for the owner operator, as well as the tenant to know, what are your thoughts on, on that uh, R3 certified certification i think it's a great great idea i mean we we typically when we look at an acquisition we look at where the value we can add is and to me you know we've always called it kind of lipstick and rouge or just a value add what can we do to value add or is it light capex is it heavy capex you know but it'd be nice to have sort of a predefined package so to right. speak R3 certified, if that's what it is, right? And we go in and we, when we talk to our construction guys or the guy, or our GCs or whoever's doing that work, we can say, I mean, it'd be a lot easier for me to just say, or for them to say, you know, we want to R3 this site, right? You know, and give us a give us a, a budget to do that. What's right. it going to cost us, right? Right. And so I think just kind of streamlining that process into a package deal uh, is a good idea. And I think you know, we can always sell 
nicer product for more money. So sure. it's just about the ROI and um, and whether or not we can spend it day one or we have to kind of wait a little while before we can put that budget together. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a good idea that we can certainly work with our management companies uh, that we use um, our managers on site to kind of say, hey, this is a good justification for when someone pushes back on a rental increase. You can say, well, look what we're doing to this property. You know, your money's not just going in our pocket. It's going to, you know, make your experience better on the site. Perfect, perfect. Our secure guard uh, security system, remoteless, wireless, a true functional way to uh, garner the traffic in a particular unit, how much it's being used, those sorts of things. Is that a value to you uh, potentially to increase rents? Not only the, the state of the art technology of mm -hmm. Secure Guard, but also the data you're able to collect with a Secure Guard uh, system. I think um, in the majority of the markets that we're in, it would be. Um, you know, I've, I've learned a little bit about that product up till now, and you know, one thing that we always struggle with on multi level facilities is how we get someone up to the second floor and how we justify higher prices on the first floor. And, um, you know, so I've got some ideas how to incorporate that product, especially into, uh, you know, new conversions and new development um, to where we can maintain similar pricing on the first floor and the second floor. That's just one of the ideas kind of that I've Perfect. Uh, heard of or thought of. I can't remember if it's my idea or not, but um, it's sort of uh, something that we're thinking about as far as, you know, your smart unit upstairs mm -hmm. and your you know, your dumb unit downstairs, yep. but more people want to not use an elevator, but if their technology, you know, if they've got some technology, uh, or if they're interested in the technology, then they can go upstairs and, and uh, pay the same as them on the downstairs, Perfect. on the main Perfect. floor. Well, Dave, I can't thank you enough for your yeah, time, uh, uh, all of your uh, great information, the partnership yeah. is great. Thank you guys. Uh, we'll look forward to working with you and on right. some more projects and see you at the shows. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks okay. so much. Thanks.